Hi folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at a game called Black Tiger, created in 1987 by Capcom, and this was requested by YouTube user Atari Forever 2002, and uh, I am taking requests. If there's any games you would like me to do a review of, let me know. Uh, arcade games, anyway. But uh, I am waiting right now for... Uh, some games to be working right in MAME uh, when they do then I will continue my 20 from 1997 series but for now I'm just going to do requests this game is very similar to another Capcom game Ghosts and Goblins but I like Ghosts and Goblins a lot more than this one and this one's okay I'm just not a big fan of it uh, this game is very cheap sometimes there will be enemies that can just attack you without warning from above or below. And you don't have enough time to deal with them, it seems. But, uh, a major theme of this game is column climbing. There will be these columns that you will need to jump onto and grab. And, and climb, and you can jump off those columns and grab higher columns above you or jump off to the left or right to grab columns to your left or right and you can drop down to lower columns too there is uh, or there are zenny coins in this game and those have made appearances in many other Capcom games there will be shops you can go into to upgrade your weapon and your armor. And your weapon is this axe chain type of weapon. It's kind of weird, but uh, you can upgrade it by going into shops. There will be uh, a number of enemies that are very strong and will be rushing at you. And you need to be... Uh, You'll need to be jiving with the uh, rapid fire uh, <laughs> method. You'll need to uh, lay waste to the enemies charging at you before they can reach you. There will be uh, large treasure chests that you can open if you have keys. And you can see I've got four down at the bottom, it says. And uh, sometimes the treasures will have gold in them. And sometimes they'll have uh, traps that'll open up. There is the POW symbol from the game 1942. And 1943 and probably other 1940 whatever games. There was a uh, old man statue. And when you touch the old man statue it turns into a human. And he gives you something in return. He may give you advice, he may give you coins or he may let you into his shop and here you can upgrade your weapon which is on the top row or you can upgrade your armor which is on the bottom row or you can buy keys or you can buy antidotes the antidotes are for use when uh, when a plant that grabs you from below poisons you and that poison can uh, um, can distort your sense of direction and when you push one direction the game will make you move the other way and here is the first boss it's a bunch of stone heads and they'll jump at you see uh, your your vitality isn't much much like a ghost and goblins you have armor and when it gets knocked off your next hit will kill you Though, later on in the game, you'll get an additional piece of life bar added on. You get some bonus Zenny coins added uh, when you defeat a boss. Those uh, slimes will split up into three and then start hounding you. So, waste them quickly if you can. There will be a number of areas where, uh... Oh, God damn it, I hate that boulder. 
but once you trigger that boulder it won't reappear from that spot even on your next life there will be a number of areas where enemies just keep popping up from the ground when you hear the treasure make that noise that means that a, a trap is gonna appear out of it Sometimes you can get a blue potion which will act as an extra hit that you can absorb. And sometimes the old man will give one to you. But again, that orange potion there is an antidote for when the plants poison you. There I got a, an armor upgrade. Yeah, I I am not a really big fan of this game. You want to shoot those snakes off of those columns. Um, they uh, they don't. I don't think they shoot fireballs at you or anything. But you want to clear them off the uh, columns so that you don't touch them. See, I I already triggered that boulder. It's not going to reappear. One thing that you're definitely going to want to learn to do in this game is um, you'll want to uh, learn how to do a high jump and to do that you have to push up and whichever direction you're jumping and you'll be able to jump onto high ledges and you'll also make, make uh, big jumps across long gaps and those gaps can be very daunting later on in the game ooh that plant almost got me and poisoned me Jesus, that stupid boulder pisses me off. Ugh. Where it says save one life, that just means however many lives you have left. The English in this game is, is pretty bad at times. <laughs> now I've got a bunch of uh, stone heads. level 2 and you get more and more bonus zenny as you continue to beat levels this is round 3 there are a total of 8 rounds notice that there was a statue behind me that I could have uh, released but I decided against it those uh, guys with their shields their shields are really strong you can't hit that monster on the top left from back here. You have to get up closer, which sucks. Uh, the only advice I can give you about bosses is uh, use all the space that you have. You have lots of space to maneuver around to face the boss with. Use it to your full advantage. Uh, note that there are signs which point the the most direct way to the goal. Follow those purple signs. Yeah, those uh, those slimes are annoying. They split into three, and uh, if you don't get rid of them right away, they'll start hounding you. But yeah, column climbing is a uh, central theme to this game. You'll see that a lot in this game. Now, uh, we when you see a sign that says "In," it'll take you to a dungeon. It's just an alternate path. It's got some more monsters or more dangerous monsters sometimes, including those uh, killer coins. There's giant skull coins. They cannot be killed. Here is some advice. Spinning skull can't be destroyed. Although he misspelled the word skull. S-C-U-L-L. -L. <laughs> but yeah, remember how to do the high jump. You might need to wait for that... Uh, God damn it. Might need to wait for that spinning skull 
to back away and then you can jump on the column safely. Well, right here I neglected to continue just so I could put my initials in, but I will show you snippets of all the other levels, and there are eight of them in total. This just isn't my favorite Capcom game by any means. I wasn't really thrilled with this. I never saw it in arcades. But yeah, it's, it's quite a bit like Ghosts and Goblins, I think. I put on <laughs> Invincibility by this point. I just wanted to show you uh, quickly snippets of the rest of the game. But there's a lot of columns to climb. <laughs> yeah, follow those purple arrows. There will be other colored arrows. Um... But the purple ones seem to mean the most direct route towards the end. And again, those uh, those plants, if they grab you, they'll poison you. And you can lose your sense of direction when uh, being poisoned. And here is the boss of this level, and it is a dragon. Again, back off and use the space that you're given to create some distance and get some good licks on the boss. Eventually I bought myself the best uh, weapon from the shop. You need a whole lot of zenny for that. <laughs> round four we're about halfway through the game and, and that plant just poisoned me yeah you'll start to need to learn uh, to do the nice long gap jumping there's a uh, trap now here is the boss you get to use columns to jump around away from the boss just keep using them Drop to the lower ones too, just move all around the whole level to get the best vantage point against the boss. And here is round five. And we'll just look at a little bit of it. All the rest of the levels will have numerous points where you gotta jump across uh, long gaps. Uh, or you'll have to do a whole lot of column climbing. There will be many of the same enemies that we've seen already. Lots of treasures to open up as long as you have keys. And here is the boss. You have to hit this guy in the head to cause substantial damage. And he'll fire flames at you. And those flames are in like a set of four. And you have to back way off when you see him fire the flames. And here is round six. Yeah, the gaps really start to get long here. And you want to do the, uh, the high jump again by pressing up and towards... Uh, you know, whichever way you're facing to jump across big gaps. And there's those uh, skull coins again. And again, the uh, POW symbol from the game 1942, which acts as a smart bomb in this game. I hope you enjoyed uh, St. Patty's Day. I had to work. I could have, like, gone to a bar or something after work, but I didn't feel like it. Had some, maybe had some green beer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink hardly ever. It doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, use, uh, use all the space to your advantage. You're facing a boss.
Definitely uh, try to upgrade your weapons in the shop. And round seven. Yeah, these these gaps get really daunting. Those uh, Zanny coins can be as high as uh, 500, which is really nice, like there. Those spikes look particularly nasty. <laughs> You won't, uh, you won't get a gory death if you fall onto them, but you'll definitely lose a life, no matter how high your vitality bar is. And here is the boss of that uh, round seven. And yeah, those blue flames will, uh, will be poison to you, and they'll screw up your sense of direction. Final round, round eight. I don't see any purple signs showing the quickest route. So, uh, it's probably gonna be a while before you get to the end. But yeah, this, the weapon I have right now is the best weapon in the game. You can just keep going back into the shop right before the last boss of the game. But I'm gonna go with the final boss, another dragon. And he's got some uh, poison flames that he shoots at me. And there he's dead. That is Black Tiger and we're gonna see the ending here. Created by Capcom and as was common for a number of games, not just Capcom, but this was put in a cabinet that said Romstar on it, but Romstar had nothing to do with the, the creation of the game. Produce by <laughs> more uh, Capcom English Cracker Design. <laughs> A number of Capcom games had really bad English in them. But I guess this game's okay. I, I wasn't uh, a big fan of it. I like Ghosts and Goblins a lot more. That is... Black Tiger by Capcom in 1987. This was requested by YouTube user Atari Forever 2002. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Black Tiger by Capcom in 1987. And uh, I will keep taking requests. If you got any, send them in. Crazy Climber 80 out. See you later, folks. Bye bye.